Okay, guys, I just want to show you as quickly as I can um, a couple of tools in FileMaker and how I code buttons to do those things. So find requests are really important. Um, I'm in the job schedule here. So if you go to uh, production and then job scheduler, this shows you pretty much all the jobs we have in the system and gives you a lot of uh, uh, sorting and filtering options. Anyway, um, <clears throat> let's say I want to find something really specific. Let's say I want to find Gator class jobs in pre-flight. Um, that are, you know, from the last few days. So I could go to find up here and then I could maybe set the ship by date to less than 10, 15, 2018. So I don't want to see anything too far in the future. I want to find them in pre-flight and uh, gator plast. I want to set the material there. So let's see what that does. Um, I can click perform find and look, there's a couple of jobs there. So that, let's say for some reason, is useful to me because I want to see all the jobs coming up that need to be routed. So um, I realize these are batches, and but for this example, just bear with me. Um, so these are jobs that need to be routed, and uh, that might be a useful tool for me. So let's say I like that. So now I'm going to go to Gene. I'm going to ask him to build me a button. So in order to build a button for this, um, let's just say I'm going to build a big, ugly button up here at the top just for sake of speed. So find routed jobs. Okay, we like that. Um, and then this button does nothing right now. Um, so if I click on it, it does nothing, but uh, we can write a script to make it do something. So I have a script that I've been kind of starting on. So what I'm gonna do is, is the script does the same thing that you do manually in the find mode. I know I'm going fast here, but um, we enter find mode. We don't pause. I could pause to give you a chance to, to enter more information. We set the field here. Um, I'm going to set the ship by date to this equation, less than get current date plus three. So that is um, uh, basically we take today's date plus three, so three days out, and then any jobs less than that. So we just want to see routed jobs uh, three days out or, or earlier, okay? And then I set the material, the job material here name as Gatorplast. And so then I perform a new find request. So let's say we're gonna do Gatorplast and aluminum, for example. Um, again, I got the date set there in that, in that script, less than three days out. Um, and then the uh, next material is aluminum. Okay, so I've written that button and then we actually perform the find. So that's kind of the basic script for finding jobs less than three days out for Gator Plastic Aluminum. Make sense? I hope so. Okay, save that. And then I'm going to go back to my button and then I'm going to perform scripts. When you click on it, find Gator Plast jobs. There's the script that I wrote. Click OK. And exit layout. It's going to ask me to save. Now, if I, I can show all, for example, to kind of start from that, and then I can find routed jobs. So now here's all the jobs in the system, and you can see there's a lot of old ones, but here's all the jobs in the system on 040 aluminum or Gatorplast. There's the Gatorplast. So now I would need to build more to this to say jobs that haven't shipped or uh, active jobs, not batches, et cetera, et cetera. So those kinds of things, I can, I can build that and uh, make this search a little more powerful. So thanks for watching. Hope that gives you just a little bit of insight. I know it's really fast. Thank you.